I talked with Neil Calloway on the phone today. He made it clear to me that he did not resign, that he was fired. He sounded disappointed, a little bit frustrated, but all he said is that he's glad to have had the chance to be UAB's head coach, and he thanked the players and coaches for their support. He did not thank the board of trustees, perhaps because all he got from them was a lack of support. Neil Calloway's a good guy. Is he a bad coach, or was he just a victim of circumstance? I think he's a victim of circumstances because he did everything behind the scenes to get this team ready to take the next step. They didn't do it on the field, but they were they had troubles academically. They don't have the facilities. I think he laid the groundwork. Uh, he did that, and he did not have the infrastructure, but let's be honest. Nobody was clamoring for to hire him as a head coach when he was forced upon UAB by that board five years ago. Five years is enough time to decide whether a guy can coach or not, and he just couldn't get it done. They'd have a high point and immediately drop the bottom would drop out, which but is the history of UAB is, football. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody was clamoring, though, for him to get fired. And now that they've gotten what they wanted, is that the cure? Well, well see, I don't know. You don't know. Who will the board approve? I mean, will they get another Jimbo Fisher than have it shot down? Will they pay enough money? And, and what is that coach going to have to work with? Well, who could they possibly get? Who can Brian Mackin uh, possibly attract to that job? Who in their right mind would want to go in there with the limitations that they have? Well, that's the problem. By what happened with the stadium proposal at the last board meeting or what didn't happen with it and what's happened since with Fine as St. John's uh, ludicrous statement, now Brian Mackin's out there, you know, come coach for us. We're probably not going to give you a stadium. We have a horrible football building. We might not get one of those. But hey, you know what? It's a great opportunity. Based on what you know today, where do you see UA? be football in five years. They have to have the stadium. You can't keep playing at Legion Field. Where I, I, they're not going to be, bring Based people out they there. Are today, they without a games. stadium, without a stadium, where is UAB football in five years? Without a stadium, it's going to depend on the coach. If you get a guy that can do more with less, which he's going to have to do, even if they get the stadium, it's not going to be built tomorrow. So you're going to have to do with more with more with less. Former.